Sorry these videos are taking so long to get through. Obviously it's a ton of work. Uh, use that skip forward uh, as needed for sure. I don't know where the video cut off, so let me just go back. He falls down 31.25 meters, and the arrow is approaching and will hit the building at 68.75 meters above the ground. Well, guess how far above the ground Lee Harvey Oswald is if he's 31.25 meters below 100 meters. Right, the arrow is going to strike, strike him. Mission accomplished. While I'm cleaning this up, let me recommend a book to you. Even older, because there's adult themes in it. A Stephen King book called 112263. Uh, looks at an alternate universe with the president. It's about time travel and stuff. Very, very good. It's a historical fiction. So you learn a little bit, too, as you read. Oh, the arrow's horizontal velocity. I don't need those. But. Arrow's horizontal velocity, uh, we said, was 60 meters per second. So that is going to be the entire 2.5 seconds. And then we have the arrow's vertical velocity. Vertical velocity started positive, and then 2.5 seconds later, it's going to be at zero. And then the vertical velocity for Oswald started off from rest, and then 2.5 seconds later, he's going to be at 25. How do I know it's going to be at 25? Uh, it's 2.5 seconds later, and there's a slope of negative 10. So you can use the graph. 